Vatsala here from Bonito Designs. Now today we are at Mr. Saurav and Sonia's place at Park Tivoli, one of the three bedroom apartments which we have just ended over in Whitefield. Well guys, uh, today we are in Saurav place. Uh, I am here to explain you in detail what we have done in this three bedroom house. We are in the foyer area right now. Uh, if you can see at the wall, the way we have decorated this, uh, we have taken an inverted U-shaped stone cladding, and in between we have uh, done the wall with the texture paint. At the bottom, we have given a low height sitting storage space, and also on the either side of which there is a stepwise zigzag storage, wherein they can store their newspaper and also the shoes. So from the foyer area we have a direct opening to the living room. In the entrance what we have done is we have given a rectangle paneling to the entrance of the living room. Over to my right hand side you can see a nice TV unit wherein we have played with uh, both rectangle as well as curved shape guys. And uh, the way we have uh, taken the wall paneling is this particular curved shape has travelled all the way to the ceiling with a zigzag strips running on the ceiling with and regular intervals of spotlights at two feet which itself is adding a very beautiful look to the living room guys and over to this side behind the sofa backrest what we have done is we had a column with a niche we have planned so well that that niche has become a part of a designer element wherein we have cladded the wall with the stones which we have used in the foyer area along with the highlighters which are having the carvings on it. To highlight that particular stones we have taken our rafters with the spotlights at regular intervals. Mm -hmm. Guys we had a huge opening from the living to the dining room so we wanted to give an informal entry to the dining space so what we have designed is we have designed a nice pillars with 3 inches by 4 inches at a regular intervals of 8 inches space in between and the same pillars are continuing to the ceiling with the spotlights at the edges and uh, the same light has been falling all around so that's it about the partition guys let me explain you in detail about the kitchen so coming to the kitchen guys as you all know the current trend is having an open kitchen uh, so well here also we have designed one of the open kitchens with the entrance paneling provided with the wooden rafters on the ceiling with the nice spotlights hanging here and uh, if you can see the breakfast counter, we have planned a nice zigzag breakfast counter so that from the outside it is looking like a sandwich pieces whereas from inside it is serving the purpose of storage with couple of drawers. Over to this side guys, uh, it is an L shaped kitchen wherein we have planned a cutlery, a saucer and a thali with a couple of storage at the bottom and uh, above we have planned a provision for the chimney towards either side a top openable cabinets to cover the chimney pipe what we have given is a cover patta so over to this side guys it is a straight line counter wherein uh, towards the right hand side we have given a tall cabinet with couple of shelves inside it and at the bottom we have given a provision for the dynam drawers where their maximum storage can come in like art art upperware all these boxes and towards the top we have given couple of cabinets let me take you to the kids bedroom now so we are in the kids bedroom as usual, uh, we have used two funky colors that is ivory and the light green here. So guys, what we have done in the ceiling is we have taken a nice square shape in the center which we have placed in the shape of a rhombus with a nice fan with the Mickey Mouse on it. And at the periphery, we have taken a fall ceiling with the regular intervals of spotlights at a distance of 2 feet. Towards this side guys, uh, we have planned a nice openable wardrobe with the... Uh, <coughs> one and a half feet each door you can just see where we have used the laminate with the green and ivory color in an alternating pattern like a checkered board so this side guys uh, since the room was quite spacious we wanted to design a study table which is lengthy sleek and unique so what we have done is we have taken a concept of a dressing unit continued with the study table over to this side we have a nice lengthy mirror with the spotlight on the top and the study table with the chest of cabinets towards the right hand side and to the top we have a cabinet with the hydraulic top lift doors and this side we have given some of the open niches so that the kids can store their toys and other things like that so that's it about the kids bedroom guys let me take you to the guest bedroom now 
Well, we are here in the guest bedroom right now and you will go crazy by seeing white simple color. White itself gives a beauty to the room. So guys, in this room we have used only white color with the black handles on top of the wardrobe and with two mirrors simply to give the room space a more wider look since mirror always adds to the space a bigger space and in the same way what we have used is an inverted L shape we have used on the ceiling with the regular intervals of spotlight at one and a half feet to three feet and at the center we have given a provision for the fan so that's it about the guest bedroom guys let me take you to the master bedroom now well we are in the master bedroom right now guys uh, as usual the favorite of bonito designs black and white color and here it is the way we have used the black and white color in this bedroom is very simple and premium to give a rich look to the master bedroom we have used nice white laminate on the top and back bottom sandwiched with a nice black color laminate with the black conceal handles at the edges and what we have done over this side is <coughs> We have used the same black color laminate, almost floor mounted bed with the storages at the bottom to keep their extra mattresses, pillows and other things. On either side of the cot there are nightstands. Over this side, okay just opposite to the bed we have planned a nice TV unit too with the chest of cabinets at the bottom and in between there is an open niche for the storage of DVD and other things and the same furniture unit has been continued like a study table with a chest of cabinet. Let me explain you what we have done crazy about the fall ceiling here in this room. Before I explain just have a turn around. Well uh, what we have done is we have uh, taken this particular fall ceiling like a maze design with the black color rafters running towards the ceiling with the spotlights at the edges and to give an enriched lighting warmth feeling for the bedroom we have used the spotlights at a regular interval and the maze which is coming and ending at the center with the fan so towards this place we had a walk-in space wherein we have designed a nice dressing unit along with the chest of cabinets guys over to this place there was actually a provision for the walk-in wardrobe which we have used for the nice design of a huge wall design with a nice dressing table with the periphery of a black laminate to lit the particular mirror we have given a nice fancy light on the top towards my right hand side if you can see there are a couple of chest of cabinets to store their beauty items equipments perfumes and other things so at the bottom also we have given the chest of cabinets so they can store their XYZ items. So that's it about the master bedroom guys. Well that was about Mr. Sauros and Sonia's place guys. For more videos of Bonito designs please log on to our website www.bonito.in Well this wonderful house was designed by our favorite designer Miss Vaishnavi and yeah, be know. ready with your house to get punked up by Miss Vaish. Yeah. Bye bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.